Jesus says, You are my ambassadors. I've chosen you to bring them my love. April 24, 2023 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, Lord, be merciful to us sinners and help us always to show mercy and compassion. Amen. That's a good prayer, my wayward daughter. Lord, why am I wayward? Please watch yourself with spending, beloved. Yes, Lord, oh, and I need to make a confession. Yes, you do, truly you do. It is healthy for you and for them. Repentance is so important to your anointing. It is a blessed thing to recognize your sins and repent for them. This also encourages everyone else to do likewise. And the cleaner the vessel, the more I can fill it. My children, men tend to do that which appeals to them the most. But I entreat you, care for your brothers and sisters in their need. Do not be so taken up with your own work that you neglect them. When you neglect them in favor of what gives you more satisfaction to do, you are neglecting me. I was constantly being pulled off track to care for the little ones. There was not a day where things went as I wanted them to go, so I was continually yielded to the needs of those around me. If you cultivate this kind of heart, you will climb the ladder of perfection swiftly. But if you shy away from the needs of others and put them off, your conscience will sting and you, as a vessel of honor, will diminish. Therefore be diligent in caring for the needs of those around you. Everyone thinks that their needs are of greater importance than the ones next to them. This is human nature and can only be conquered by unselfish living. In time, you will derive much joy in living for others in their needs. You are a team, that means all that you do is not for yourself, but for the welfare of the community. When it becomes a personal issue, it is time to look at your motives, to see if they are pure or not. I went about doing good, I never asked myself who was more worthy of my attention, rather I took care of those before me and found my joy in seeing them relieved of the burden they were carrying. As you grow in holiness, your joy in serving others without any personal reward will grow also. You will find your happiness not in what you got done for yourself, but in what I accomplished through you for others. You can fight this process by selfishness or accelerate it by generosity and doing for others that which they cannot repay you for. This is at the very heart of community, the joy of serving others. I know you get tired and want to wait for a more opportune time, but consider that while you're waiting, others may be suffering want. I went about doing good. Go and do likewise. Part of the art of running a community is knowing how to serve selflessly, with no ulterior motive other than meeting the needs of others, so things can run smoothly. By living this way, selflessly, you are setting an example for all the other members to do so as well. Charity and service are contagious and will challenge others to rise up and be more responsible. 
I know that much of what you must endure seems so inconsequential to saving souls, but it is precisely the little details of living that make it easier for people to focus on the souls that are perishing every moment for a lack of someone to bring them the gospel, and even more important, live it out before them. Sometimes your work will be in the shadows, other times in the limelight. All of it is for me and for souls, so do not disdain the ordinary things you must do to keep things running smoothly. You are about to enter into a time of increased giving of your time and resources. You are all a part of the sparehead I want to use to bring revival. Once things are in order here, then you can begin to reach out, and you are very close to that point. Lord, what about deciding for the buildings? That should be an ongoing project and finished off to protect them. Dear ones, there is indeed a very delicate balance between meeting your needs and reaching out. One reason I've asked you to get organized is so that you could reach out without any impediment. You are moving forward at a snail's pace, but you are about to get a booster shot as you open your hearts to the souls in your area. I've chosen you to bring them my love. You are ambassadors of love, who bring comfort one by one. Lord, please point me in the right direction. Selfless service and a very special anointing to set the captives free. My heart aches for these who are in deep bondage and feel trapped with no way out. I want you to bring them an alternative view to their lives, a view that is healthy and productive, loved and accepted. I want to encompass them in my heart. Your arms, your feet, your legs, your mouth, and the wisdom imparted to you is what I need. That was the end of his message. God bless you, dear family, and may we never shy away from loving and comforting those around us.